Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James, and welcome to this, the first in our Quick Tip series of videos filmed in our new Dream Dive Locker. Quick Tips videos, if you're not familiar, I try and cram as much of my scuba knowledge as I can about a particular topic into a video five minutes or less. And this week, I'm super optimistic that I'm gonna be able to hit that five minute mark, which has not always been the case, but this week I've picked a super easy topic. We're talking cylinder markings on an aluminium 80 scuba tank. Roll intro. So here we have, ladies and gentlemen, an aluminium 80, affectionately known as an Al 80. Probably throughout my scuba diving career, the most common cylinder that I've dived. And that's despite growing up diving cold water with steel tanks. This is the Toyota Corolla of scuba cylinders. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. And it's commonplace throughout North America, Central America, the Caribbean, Southeast Asia. It is an absolute workhorse. Around the shoulder of the bottle, there's a whole bunch of stamped numbers and letters. What do they all mean? We're gonna take a closer look and find out. So first up, we have CTC slash DOT. That stands for the Canadian Transport Commission slash Department of Transport. In the relative countries, Canada and the United States, the Department of Transport regulates the manufacture of scuba cylinders. Don't ask me why, I don't really consider scuba diving a method of transport, but there you have it. Those stamps on the bottle mean that this tank can be used legally in the United States and Canada. Next up, 3L. 3L means that this cylinder is made from three gauge aluminium, or as my friends here in the United States would say, aluminum, because we're just two countries separated by a common language. So that's just describing the quality of the metal that was used to make this tank and making sure that that is the required grade so that it can withstand the pressure, obviously, that the cylinder needs to hold. Speaking of which, the next number is 3000, and that is the working pressure in the cylinder in PSI. On some aluminium scuba cylinders, you'll also see 207, which is the working pressure in bar. Next up, you have the serial number of the tank. In this case, it's P532464, and the manufacturer, which is Luxfer. Luxfer is one of the two big aluminium tank manufacturers together with Catalina. And then following that line of lettering around, you'll come to two numbers separated by what looks like an Illuminati symbol. In this case, 0191. That is the month and year that this tank was created, and the symbol inside is just the manufacturer's stamp. Above and below that, you're gonna see other numbers separated by a symbol. So for example, here you have eight stamp 97, above it there's 10 stamp 07, nine stamp 14, nine stamp 19, and over here for some reason I don't understand, 0802 with a stamp in between. Those are all the times uh, month and year that this tank was put through its hydro test. So you have to do a hydro test every five years. You want to look for the most recent of those dates and make sure it was within the last five years. So in this case, 0919, this cylinder was last hydroed in September of last year. And then at the end of that row of numbers and letters, you see S80. And that is both the model number of the tank for Luxfer and its capacity in cubic feet. So because this is an 80 cubic foot, cylinder at 3000 psi the model number is s80 if this was an al 40 an aluminium 40 cubic foot tank that would be s40 you'll also sometimes see so 40 and so 80 and so forth and the last marking on this cylinder i want to draw your attention to is this sticky label on the base of the tank which is the visual inspection cylinder here in north america the regulation states that every scuba cylinder must be visually inspected every single year the tank is drained, the valve is removed, you put a light inside the cylinder to check that there's no corrosion or pitting on the inside of it, and the outside of the tank is inspected thoroughly, as well as the thread that holds the valve. And normally that's a good opportunity to service the valve at the same time. As you can see here, there's a month and a year down the side, and this was last visually inspected in September of 2019, 
which makes sense because we know that it was also hydroed in September of 2019. So in a couple of months time, I will have to get this tank visually inspected, which I will do when I next have to fill it. Sadly, yes, I purchased this scuba cylinder from Pompano Dive Center when they closed down. RIP, I still miss you guys very much. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It really means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video. Yes, I know it's not earth shattering news, scuba cylinder markings, but I believe that the more information you have, the better a diver you will be. And that's all I really care about. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often. 